In the previous video, we discussed about the initiation part of eukaryotic DNA replication. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the elongation part of DNA replication in eukaryotes. Before we get into the elongation part, let's see where we are at the end of initiation. At the end of initiation, the primase enzyme loads primers on both the strands. Then the primers are extended a bit by adding deoxynucleotides by polymerase alpha as shown in the diagram. And finally, the PCNA, that's the DNA clamp, loads the DNA polymerase delta to both the strands. Now the elongation part starts from here. It must be noted that DNA polymerase works 5' prime to 3' prime end. That means DNA polymerase delta adds deoxynucleotide to the hydroxyl 3' prime end only. And we know both strands are going opposite in their directions. One is going 5' prime to 3' prime end. The other one is going 3' prime to 5' prime end. So on one strand, the DNA polymerase will synthesize continuously and on other, it will synthesize in segments or fragments called the Okazaki fragments. On the upper strand, you can see the helicase is running towards the left. So the polymerase will run towards it, adding deoxynucleotides on the 3' prime end. The polymerase delta will continuously make the strand, so called the leading strand. Now on the lower strand, which has 3' prime to 5' prime orientation, the polymerase has to run away from the helicase enzyme because this is the only way it can add nucleotides on the 3' terminus end. So this way the polymerase delta forms DNA strand in segments called the Okazaki fragments and this strand is termed as lagging strand. And also keep this thing in mind, during the process of DNA replication, the topoisomase 2 enzyme relieves the stress on the DNA strands by cutting down the DNA duplex thus changing the topological orientation of DNA molecule, like we have DNA gyrase in prokaryotes. In order to understand how these Okazaki fragments are made, let's have a look at this diagram. This is the color diagram so that we can understand it in a better way. You can see first the helicase opens up the strands, then the primers are added to the both the strands as shown in the orange color. The polymerase adds nucleotides to the 3 hydroxyl end of primers, going in the opposite direction. Then again, helicase moves towards the left and opens up the strands. You see, the red part strands are opened now. And here you can see the upper strand has three terminus end, on which polymerase can easily add nucleotides and continue building the strand. But on the lower strand, we are having five terminus end, on which polymerase cannot add further nucleotides. So away from this side, another primer is added, as shown in the figure. And now the polymerase has three terminus end to add nucleotide onto it and will synthesize the strand till it reaches the previous primer. So this way Okazaki fragments are created. Now there is a problem in the lagging strand synthesis which can be illustrated in the following diagram. You see we have a DNA molecule here, the upper strand is the leading strand and the lower strand is the lagging strand. You see these are the primers. The Okazaki fragments are made with the flaps in the end. And how these flaps are made? Let's have a look. When polymerase delta encounters the primer on lagging strand, it displaces it at first. And this way the Okazaki fragment is created with a flap at the end. This process is termed as displacement replication by polymerase. It displaces primer first and continues synthesizing. So now this flap is needed to be removed. And this removal is made by the FAN1 enzyme which removes these flaps. And finally, these primers in orange color ought to be removed as these are ribonucleotides. So for this, we have RNase H enzyme, which works on these RNA-DNA hybrids and cleaves the phosphodiester bonds in between ribonucleotides and deoxynucleotides and removes these primers. So after the removal of these primers, the polymerase alpha comes in and synthesizes the deoxynucleotides at these primer sites, which have been just removed. Then we have a DNA ligase enzyme which ligates the Okazaki fragments once the primers have been removed. This concludes our DNA elongation part of eukaryotic DNA replication. In the next video, we will be discussing about the termination process. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.